In case you are wondering what artificial intelligence would represent, see, artificial intelligence or AI is nothing else but a representative of the unconsciousness of the humankind, of any human or even of any animal if you seek. Some would ask why. See, to banish this uh, confusion, uh, it's very simple. See, artificial intelligence will always remain nothing else but the code which is written behind it. Any programming aspect, material, or whatever you ask it, see, it is nothing else but a binary code. It is a zero and one, right? It is a let's say, an array, a collection of zeros and ones, which, well, are the translation of the code to the machine. What your code is, is basically condensed commands, and those commands are translated to the machine. What the machine does is, it translates those, and simply executes those, based on how they were uh, written. So a machine will basically read the commands and execute them again and again and again. The process is never-ending. And, well, it basically ends when there are patch times, which will add, remove, or, well, customize the code even further. But ultimately, the machine simply does nothing else than repeat the code. Again and again and again. It only executes the conditions that are true, it avoids those which are false, and you want your code to simply constantly shape. Some things will become now true, then they will become false. And machine learning, well, it is nothing else but a set of advanced algorithm. But an algorithm, what is an algorithm? Again, it is a repetitive code. It is a code that repeats itself, and, well, based on whatever parameters were given, it does certain things, and, well, Machine learning takes into account how many times some things happen, and typically it's based on counting those. Just like on Google, obviously the algorithm is much broader, but haven't you seen, the more you seek certain videos, specific videos, you are presented those in your feed. The more you seek a certain type of videos, you are going to be presented more and more about those, right? That is what machine learning is. There is nothing conscious about it. It is just a code that constantly repeats itself. So it is exactly like unconscious people. They are not aware of what they are doing. They are doing those mechanically. That is why habits are kind of never good. Because a habit means you are living in a perpetual uh, behavior. You are repeating certain things. When you have a habit, you have a false sense of security, because security means structure, but ultimately it means repetitiveness. So you're nothing else than, well, uh, your unconscious mind. You're repeating certain cycles of life, certain things, because when you repeat things, you feel safe. But never forget, your comfort zone is your prison. Machines function on the same thing. They are a technology which, well, let's not say it was involved with the occult's understanding and as such, but it is nothing else than a translation of the brain. It is a conversion of the brain, or let's say a very primitive way of how the brain works, or let's say it is a primitive replication of the brain and better said the unconscious side of the brain. When you choose to do things consciously, well, you'll see you'll perform in a different way. When you perform them unconsciously, well, that's a whole different thing, because a lot of people are doing this. They are doing the same things again and again and again. There is no such thing as an awareness, apparently, in those. So if those people get replaced by AIs, well, for the people around them, most likely it's not going to be any difference. First of all, because those other people may also be equally or even more ignorant, or at the same time, those people who would be replaced by AIs were so ignorant, so robotic in thinking that, well, there would be simply no difference if they were uh, skin and bone, you know, or simply metal. So AI also, from a more advanced perspective, you know, it is 
uh, also a representative of the AI, right? The artificial I or the artificial you. See, English is an occult language in a way. It has a way of speaking things to you that you accept them unconsciously. And when you do, uh, and they happen in real life, you accept them as they are. See, the artificial I is also the artificial I, right? The I that constantly watches you. It's not called an iPhone for nothing, right? Because you're one with that phone, right? I am the phone. You're getting attached to it. And at the same time, that phone also has an eye that, well, it keeps an eye on you. And also, let's not forget that artificial intelligence is also the point, well, or it can also be interpreted as the artificial I, right? The you, what you think you are, right? A lot of people get attached to this idea of the self. That's what this sick society wants, the artificial you. In the European Union, this was not voted, it was accepted by a majority of people who are corrupt because it was supposed to be voted whether artificial or digital identity and the digital, um, you know, pocket would be allowed, but it wasn't even uh, voted. It was simply accepted by some people because, well, only two people ended up voting. I ended up seeing a live uh, streaming from there and, well... That's what I understood of it. So, well, this is what artificial intelligence is aimed to do. A bunch of ignorant people and people who are forsaken emotionally, mentally, and who also forsook themselves, they simply give in to their own pains and they choose to become slaves to someone else's agenda. And that agenda doesn't seek to create a... Uh, natural awareness for humans it wants an artificial one but an artificial means it has been created it is much weaker much more primitive than the intelligence of this planet because this planet has evolved through billions of years we humans are billions of years of evolution you simply can't create a machine and expect it to suddenly become aware it will never become aware sure a lot of people will be foolish enough to pursue that, but they will simply die unfulfilled. No machine will become aware and conscious. Artificial intelligence will try to replicate that as much as possible, and it will succeed for uh, ignorant people, because they won't be able to distinguish between a machine and, you know, a bit of code that does things in a way that feels realistic, but it is definitely not. There is never going to be any awareness in those machines. It's just going to be algorithms that replicate how ignorant people function. And ignorant people, well, they're easy to fool because they can't see what lies beyond. So this being said, hopefully this video was introspective enough. Take care and, well, feel free to ask yourself questions and in time the answers will come. Feel free to also ask questions in chat. Maybe, you know, when I feel ready, I will provide a personal take on that. And, well... Take care, enjoy life, and well, this being said, don't allow your uh, impulses and your hurts and well, distorted feelings to take control of you. Live life consciously and you will be, uh, let's say, a lot more fulfilled. This being said, Berenjan Board signing out.